I'm Rhodes. And my name is Alana Rittenauer. And we have published uh, The Adventures of Rhodes and Alana, a children's book series, and our second book, Bully Blues, has just come out. The reason that we got into the uh, children's book publishing business is I was diagnosed at five years old with type 1 diabetes, and I really wish there had been a resource that I could, that I could read when I was that age um, that was not dominated by diabetes, but it was an adventure series where one character, the main character, just happened to have diabetes, but he was living his life to the fullest. That's right. And so in our first book, School Bill Secret, we introduce the characters and Rhodes goes through that moment where he tries to decide if he wants to talk about his type 1, he wants to tell this new friend what his life is like with a chronic condition. And so our goal really was to normalize talking to your friends, telling them about what you're going through, what you're living with. And sure enough, turns out Alana, who's the character based after me, uh, is compassionate, she's understanding, she wants to know more and learn about type 1 and how she can be a more supportive friend. So then, in our second book, Bully Blues, we, the, what, the characters are now friends, and so Alana really steps up and helps Rhodes as he's experiencing a bully who's on his Little League team. And he um, struggles with being able to tell the bully why he's going off the field to drink juice, why he needs to leave the field during games to manage his type 1 diabetes. And Alana really helps him stand up for himself. And just like today, um, you got to have a support system to help manage your diabetes. But also, the, the diabetes of, that my character has is emblematic of any chronic condition that any child happens to be dealing with. So in Bully Blues, the bully ends up having um, a, a peanut allergy. And so they're able to bond over what they're both dealing with. And the story ends as everyone being friends, thanks to Rhodes being able to talk about his condition and Alana supporting both of them coming together and, and trying to figure out how they can get support and help for something they're both dealing with all the time. Probably what's most important is there's still a lot of adventure in these children's book series, even though we're trying to take on big issues. And our books are set in Richmond, right here in, in um, RBA. Central Virginia. And so the second book is set da, 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 at a minor league baseball game. So just like we take our children all the time to our amazing uh, minor league team to watch them play, that's where the kids are experiencing their adventure in the second book. So we hope you'll enjoy the first two books and keep an eye out for book number three, which should be out in about a year, and let us know what you think of it, and hopefully it's helping you and someone that you care about.